Hello and good morning. Welcome to Stamp and Chat. I'm going to check that I'm live in the right place. I'm a bit earlier today than usual schedule time just because I'm going to be dashing off to help out with the swimming lesson this morning. So let's just refresh everything. Check we are live in the right place. So I am not expecting too many people to be joining me. I know some of you could be on school run. Alfie's getting excited because I'm chatting. Okay, we're live in the right place. That is good. So today I'm going to be using some of the products from the, oh, what is the collection called? I always get confused, Flitting Florets. The stamp set is called Framed Florets and there's also another Christmas addition that goes with it. Um, so I'm gonna be creating two cards with you this morning, quite sweet, quite simple, quite fresh. Um, and I'm aiming to be done by 10 because I need to dash out of the door and head over to Stratford Park to the leisure centre for swimming. So, and then I'm back and I'm having hair done. Then I need to pack my case. And then tomorrow at early o'clock, I am off to Vienna for the stamping up on stage. And I am so excited. So, so excited. I cannot tell you. Right, let's get you down onto my desk. I know some of you will be joining. I know a lot of you like to catch me on the replay and loads of you watch on the YouTube replay as well. And you do leave me some lovely comments on there. So thank you for that. Right, bear with the palm of the hand and I will turn you down. If you are joining, please do say hello and I will catch up with comments in a brief moment. Let's just turn you around. Move everything about. Get straight, get some lighting on. Didn't think it was gonna let me zoom then for a minute. <clears throat> Still got that frog in the throat today. I think it's just like permanently there at the moment. It's that time of the year, isn't it? Right, I think I am going to just get this grid paper down. Zoom a tinsy wincy bit if I can. That should do nicely. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using this early release collection of products. We have the framed florette stamps, we have dies that go with it, which are absolutely stunning. I love them. Um, I've got a mini version of the flyer here. We've also got pattern papers. We've got the Christmas edition, which is the framed and festive. Then we've also got some lovely embellishments. Let me just pull those in. I've got a couple of samples to share with you as well after. I have shown you these, but look how pretty they are. So they kind of don't scream festive straight away. This sheet here works with the dies as well. And I've got a feeling the flower die may cut out a couple of those. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Let's turn over. And then on the reverse, we have some really useful patterns. So such a great set that you could start using now. You could even be using it into the new year. We've also got the lovely, what are these called? The gold adhesive swirls they're super pretty super pretty and I've got a couple of cards that I did recently just using the framed and festive so using the lovely oval dies but using the greetings from this set which I just love and then we've got a fun fold here using some of the DSP using the ovals bit of heat embossing on there using the stamps from the framed florets and then just pulling in the poinsettia from the merriest moments so I have also done a couple of lives using this set as well so right let's get these out of the way color combo evening evergreen soft succulent no surprise there 
but I'm going to be doing a little bit of colouring again today so keeping it quite like soft and subtle and pretty so I've pulled in some blends I've got soft succulent petal pink and then also which colour is this SU 700 and I had this little beauty arrive and I just couldn't resist not using it so I'm going to be I'm not going to be using the cracker so I think it's called the tr cracker treat box I made a little marker on my page in my book it's on page 170 of the annual catalog it's 34 pound cracker and treat box it's super sweet it's not just for Christmas definitely you can cut these crackers out in any cardstock or pattern papers you've got but i just love these additions i think they're going to be so useful i'm going to use a couple of those today as i said i couldn't resist not pulling it in right first card let's get rolling because i need to be away by 10 so i'm gonna to have to keep an eye on the time you know what i'm like with waffling very good at that Okay, so we've got basic white base. Let's move my chair out of the way. Basic white base here, measuring five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. I have a layer of petal pink, which is three and three eighths by five and, oh, five eighths. I've got a piece of soft succulent that I'm going to be using to die cut with. And then I've also got a top layer, which is three and a half by five and one eighth. Okay, you could adjust those sizes. I just, I've made quite a big border <clears throat> around there. So let's start with folding this. Now, because I'm using my Stampin' Blends, I will be using Memento Ink to stamp my images. So let's just think about what layers. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp some images first. Oh, I'm meant to get a clean, clean sheet of grid paper, but we'll just use the reverse of there. And my favourite stamp in this whole set it it's just beautiful i don't know how anybody could resist this set quite frankly um the the images the outline images are just beautiful and although i've stamped this i haven't actually colored it yet it's it's been a busy couple of weeks i've been away i've been to portamau with jay racing um so we were away for almost a week so i've i've had very little time here in the studio and when i got back last tuesday i early hours tuesday morning he's in this one as well um i was hoping to go live last week and catch up and it just didn't happen i had classes thursday i had class saturday morning and I just didn't get the time to come back on here. So hence going away tomorrow, I really wanted to make the effort to be here today. So it may be a bit shorter than, than normal, but, um, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, the other image is this lovely leafy one. What's happening with my lighting? So I'm going to stamp a couple of those and I'm going to let these dry for a moment. How many do I need? I'll do a couple. And then for the flowers, there's just something about this flower that I love. It's just the shape of it. It's how the petals curl at the edges. So allowing you to add like depth or colour. And we'll have another scrap. I've done loads. So I didn't need to do all those. I was I was chatting and distracted, but they will always get used. And the good thing is that by stamping several, while you've inked up a stamp, these can sit and totally dry out before before we start adding any colour. Right, I think that's it for flowers and leaves. So we're going to set those to one side for the moment. I'm going to do a little bit of die cutting so 
I've got these two layers here and I wanted to use this time. I didn't use, oh, did I use it? I don't remember. I think I showed you. I wanted to use this pretty oval die here. This one I think is my favourite. It's the plainest one out of all of them, but it's my favourite. So who is joining me this morning? I can see a few here yet. I'm not seeing any comments. I know some of you are probably on the school run. Um, but if you're coming back on the replay, please do just type hashtag replay and then I'll know that you've been here. So I'm going to start off with this one. I might trim that little bit off because once I run that piece through my machine, I might be able to use that in a bit. We'll see. Um, it will mark it. The top plate will just leave marks on it. And I'm going to show you a way around that. So I'm going to run that through my machine quickly. Wind that handle. And then this one does need, it's started to stick in a little with you so it just needs to hello kim good evening how are you hope you're keeping well just need to give it a little bit of encouragement out and with things like this don't press too hard on here because you'll make a, an indent into there so kind of just gradually lift it start it off and then just gently pull the reason it's sticking in there is because of all these little ridges. So the cardstock is just sticking to it. How beautiful is that? Turn my light a little bit more. What else do we need? This one here. Pop that one back. So we're going to pop this one down. I'm going to tape this one down because this is the front layer of my card got a bit of washi tape so I want to have it centrally down here I was having a good shake and a scratch we had some fun weather here last night Kim you're good yes I'm good thank you usual tiredness but I think that's just the way things are and not sleeping right before I put that down just dropped a hair then going to take just a scrap of paper copy paper you see I've used this already and I'm just going to pop it over the top and that will help to reduce the amount of marks on this layer I will explain so well, your top plate still gets kind of etched and that leaves little marks but by putting in a sheet of of copy paper it does just help reduce like those that that indent that you get and because we want this left look how beautiful that is and it is so tempting to keep all of those but because of time you know I have my little pot with stars in. I'm just gonna swipe all of those off into the bin now, which doesn't seem right, but I don't have time to sit and get every individual part off and put it in my little pot for later. There will be plenty more of those to come, believe me. So that layer there, as you can see, it just cuts the hearts out, okay, and leaves the center in, which is fun because it opens up all the options of what you can do with it. So what I wanna do first, before we do anything else with this layer, this oval I don't actually need, I'm gonna save that for later, but I do want the outer piece. And I do want to stick it on top of here, but I wanna stamp something in the middle. And I think it's pretty safe to say that I've got plenty of room in the middle, but on the safe side, I might just draw. Let's get that central. 
couple of little pencil marks just so that I know where the edges are like that okay can you see and then I can rub those out later but what I want to add in here is this lovely greeting wishes for a beautiful birthday and they're all lovely these greetings in here I love the fonts I love the script the style so let's pull back in because we're using photopolymer it's important to use a spongy mat and for this one I'm going to use the evening evergreen And I want to stamp this more towards the bottom. Oop. Had a bit of rocking there in that ink pad. I have to be careful that I don't rock down onto here. Otherwise we'll have to do this process again. So I'm pretty much just going to pop it right down. Like that move that one out of the way otherwise I'm going to end up dipping my fingers into it as usual and then we can just rub out our pencil marks that we made and then get rid of that but how gorgeous is that greeting I just love it Love it, love it. It's favourite words in this studio, isn't it? Just love it all. Right, do a little bit of colouring. Pull up a few. Bring in the pens. And we only need a couple of flowers. I think I've already got one done of those. And a leaf. So I'm going to use my light petal pink. It's looking very glitchy on my MacBook. Light and dark, soft succulent. And then as I've said, I've pulled out number SU700. Okay, this is in a set of two. I'm not sure without looking in the book whether they are light or medium light, um, but I thought it was a good a good colour match. I find there isn't a lot of difference between petal pink and light petal pink. If I show you, this is light and dark, I mean. Okay, my video. MacBook has just thrown me out. Facebook, thanks for that. I'm still live though, I can see on my phone I'm still live, so let us do. So can you see, there's not a massive amount of difference between those two, but if I use the 0700, 700 even, not 0700, can you see it? We've just got much deeper contrast going on. Now it's going to be tricky for me to see comments, so... Forgive me if I miss something. So I'm just gonna start with petal pink. Let's move that one back out of the way. Petal pink light, and I'm literally just very quickly, very roughly coloring in the flower. There's nothing tricky about this. And then with the, the 700, I'm just gonna color the center and literally just draw over the lines that Stampin' Up! have created and then just very carefully highlight where the petals have turned, where the edges of the petals have turned, just to highlight that bit of colour. And then where Stampin' Up! have drawn a line, I'm going to add a bit of the deeper colour as well. So if I pick that up. Can you see? And as that dries, it will kind of like smudge together slightly. I'm wondering, because we had awful weather last night, it was very windy. The internet could, could be a bit iffy today. So this is the smaller flower of the two. Just very quickly. Can you see how quick this is? You know, we're, we're not faffing and fussing too much. Just going to literally... 
draw in the center I mean some of you may be looking and thinking Kerry really you need to brush up on your coloring skills but I think it's okay <laughs> it's fine right let's do the soft succulent so I'm going to start with the pale and then just add some of the darker in so you know for someone who is very OCD and particular when I'm coloring I just think that it doesn't have to be that precise I think if there are like you could white gaps in your colouring, it just sort of adds to it adds to the look. I find this leaf quite tricky because it's very skinny. And um, you know, sometimes we can spend a lot of time faffing and worrying about things, which believe me, I do. I'm a definite faffer. So I'm just gonna take I like to use the bullet tip mostly. I'm just going to take the dark and just like add a little smidge of colour just to the centres of these leaves. And it's like little dots I'm just putting in there just to give a little bit of depth. Okay, so we've got those three. Gonna pull in the dies, move that. Okay, Alfie. What have you heard? What have you heard? Just kick the chair. It's getting excited, as if someone's coming. Maybe the postman is out by the box, by the gate. Right, we need that one, that one, and then this one here. Of course, we've got these standalone dies here, which are beautiful. Um, I will use those over and over. I'm going to need a little bit more washi tape just to hold these down. So let's just tape them in place. And then we'll get cutting. Run them through. And this card will come together very quickly once we've cut these. So I did play around with um, colouring the different, the additional um, stamping blends that we've got. I, I was playing around with the colours and I did, I used one of the deeper colours to accent, which I don't dislike. Um, but yeah, they're great. I'll find them in the book and it works. <laughs> We lost one, lost one on roots. Yeah, I'll find you them in the book if I remember. Good morning, Ellie, how are you doing? Are you getting excited for our little getaway? I'm super excited, but stressed at the same time. Um, it's just gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be an early-ish start in the morning. Picking up a couple of people en route to Heathrow. And just hoping that the journey runs smoothly. It's always, always a bit nerve wracking getting to the airport on time, isn't it? I think that's all we need for die cutting for the moment. So, how pretty are these? What are you up to, Ellie? Right, let's give these, let's give them a bit of life. So I've still not finished swaps. I can show you a handful that I've done. It's something that I've done before as well. You know, I'm recycling my ideas. Let's grab a load. These are my swaps. I, I'm sure I have done, shown you that card before um, and I'm just recycling. I think that was a Facebook Live one and I just thought, do you know what, I'll, I'll just recycle an idea I've got. Okay, what we need now is to lay this gorgeous piece. Don't 
down onto our card. You're nearly packed. I had to have another try on last night. Oops. Because it's looking like we could have a bit of damp weather on Thursday. And I am just rubbish at travelling light. Because, you know, I like to switch my outfits around and different shoes go with different outfits. Jason was... Yeah, I was annoying him slightly when I was stressing about how I was going to pack everything into that small cabin case. But, um, yeah, I'll feel better. So we can actually check in later. I've set a reminder when I get back from swimming to get us checked in. Right, what I'm going to do now is layer this piece behind. So add a bit of Tombow just around here pop this one on so i've cut it just slightly smaller you're only taking one pair of shoes you're walking in i know you know my dilemma of like well i'd like my black boots with the heel and then i'd like my black chunky boots but i really love my converse and what am i going to take and i've got the same dilemma with jackets as well so at the end of the day it's going to be whatever fits in the suitcase will come <laughs> but I, I have pretty I've pretty much capsule wardrobed a lot of stuff um and I've bought I treated myself to a lovely new wool blazer and I really would like to take that because I know it's going to be warm but it's whether there's room or it's whether I wear it so I'm just going to layer this on dimensionals Popping them evenly spread around so that we don't get any sagging in the middle, if we can help it. I know I say this a lot, but I love these dimensionals. The backs come off so easily. They're not too high. They just sit at a lovely height. So I'm just laying that down onto our card base. Okay, so we've just got a bit of bit of height going on here. Where chunky stuff to travel in, the slim stuff to pack. Yeah, I know. I was thinking of um, just taking one jumper just to layer over in case I need it. Um, but I'm going to take a scarf as well because a scarf's always good if you're just a little bit chilly in the conference room. You can just pop it on and it will just keep you keep you a bit warm. Right, I need one more flower for this. I'm going to pop some couple of dimensionals behind this layer, this leafy layer. But I'm super excited. Have you got your euros, Ellie? So at on stage, we will get to see sneak peek products that will be coming your way in January. We will get to see what's coming for celebration, dare I say, that that's coming around. Um, hopefully we'll get some goodies to bring home. Just gonna lay these flowers down. Got Tombow under my nail, which I hate. Then we get to watch business demonstrations. We get to watch creative demonstrations. We get to oh, mix and mingle, we get to swap. It's just such a fun time. Just put Tombow where I didn't want to put it, but that is fine. And then this little one, we're gonna squeeze just in here. So yeah, it's super exciting. We get to network, we get to catch up with other demonstrators. Turn you that way. Like that. And then simply to finish, I'm going to pull out some linen thread and just add a bow. And I'm going to keep it really simple. So we haven't met for on stage 
for three years because of COVID. So it's going to be super exciting. And of course, Vienna was the place where I earned my first ever incentive trip to. So it's going to be kind of special going back, back there. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. We'll have a little bit of time to explore, won't we? So I'm just rolling a glue dot. And we're going to pop that one just down here at the bottom. Let's chop those tails a little bit. And there we go. Really plain, simple, quick and easy. Well, I think it is. Kim, you had your craft retreat last weekend. You had lots of fun. You got lots done and you had three workshops. Goodness me. Busy, busy. That's my original. Pretty much the same. Colouring sometimes depends. So, so simple. Honestly, these oval dies are just super, super pretty. Let's bring in the next one. The next one should come together quite quickly. And I've kind of worked along the same lines. But I wanted to use some elements from the Cracker Treat Box die. So we're going to start with a basic white layer. It's five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I did, I might consider adding in an extra layer to my original. I think I'm going to do that just so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to do the same as I did before. I've already got my stamping, my flowers stamped, so I don't need to worry about those. I'm going to do the same with this layer. It should actually measure the same, three and a half by five and one, which it does. And we're going to pop that lovely heart heart die down on there but what we're also going to do is use this die at the same time now I want to make sure this stays central so we're going to tape it down we'll tape it top and bottom and then this one I'm going to put in the middle like this and make some magic happen. Right, I can't really see if that's straight, but have another bit of tape to hold that down. Looks a bit lower. It'll be fine. We'll leave it at that. I just love how they, they layer up these dies. So let's just run that through. Again, we've got lots of hearts, but we've got a centerpiece. We won't actually need that. Should have put on that white piece of paper. Can you see here, like there's adhesive that's stuck to my layer from my plate. And that's what happens. It just gets a little bit grubby. It's a bit messy with all these hearts, but we'll soon Get those out of the way. So more or less the hearts just fall out. Let's put that one back. This one will give I don't need this centre part, but I'm gonna push it out ready. Because if it gets forgotten about and left in there, the next time you go to use it, you won't get it won't cut properly and it, it will be hard to get out. So we'll save that for later. We were just using that oval to cut out the center piece. Let's just push those out. And then get rid of all these hearts, which is like sacrilege. So I just use my tool plate to scrape them off. 
So we've ended up with that. Where's my rubber? It's hiding. I just rub off those pieces. Bits of adhesive that have got stuck. And I'm gonna do the same, but this time you can see we get something different happening in the center. So we're gonna layer those two up. as we did before. So we end up with, rather than just a white centre, we now have the petal pink. I've cut myself one of those already. So we're gonna add that in. checking comments. I haven't packed my travel bag yet. I don't want to pack that too heavy because I'm hoping I'm going to have lots of goodies to bring home. We may even get a bit of shopping in as well so who knows. Okay so we've just got that layer like that. Now Get lots of pieces left over as well from doing things like this and look at my overflow look at all these lovely pieces that are left so I'm just going to have like a session of using all of those bits and pieces and just to make some kind of random cards that are all going to be different right what I want to do now before I stick that layer down I'm going to put some dimensionals on it first I'm molting. I've washed my hair this morning, which is super crazy because I'm having my hair done this afternoon, but I like it to be fresh for when it's done, if that makes sense. And yesterday wasn't the day for washing hair because it was blowing a gale. <laughs> blowing a gale. Right. What am I doing now? I've got some pieces that I did earlier. But I'm also going to use another greeting. So although we've got these lovely large greetings in here, we've got this sweet celebrate word, which is super useful because celebrate can be used for any occasion. I've got a couple of strips of, skinny strips of basic white cardstock. You may fit it on there, we'll see. And I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen and just ink that up and try and line it. Let's line it on a line to start with. This is so tricky doing this while I'm doing a live because I can't really see where I'm going because my phone is in the way. That will do nicely. We will leave that at that snip off the end, trim the other end a bit. So yeah, in hindsight, maybe having my hair done today when I've got everything else to be doing to go away was not the best plan, but there we go. Right, I promised to use some elements from in here. Good morning, Margaret. Margaret, how are you doing? Hope you're keeping well. I love the little hearts and the stars. And I, I adore this because we don't have... Do you remember years gone by, we had the punch called the word window, which was a long oval. Well, a long rectangle with curved edges. I really love that. But I'm going to pull out... Which ones am I going to use? I'm going to use that one. That one. And that one. Pull back in my plate. We'll use that scrappy bit that we used with leftover earlier. We'll have one in that colour. No, one in that colour. How pretty is this? 
Yes, I am off to on stage in the morning. I will be up at silly o'clock to head off to Heathrow Airport. Right, I don't need the whole of that length. So I'm gonna take these down because I know that as soon as I pick up this, they will move. Yep, heading off, um, picking up two team members on the way, en route. <clears throat> so, gonna be a real adventure. I'm super excited. It's been way too long since we've had a huge gathering. Way too long. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. There was a lot of chat on the group this morning about people having their nails done to go away. And as much as I love having my nails done, I just can't keep up with it. I just can't keep up with going to have appointments and that's why you'll always see me with just like a bit of clear very rarely do i put color on my nails anymore i do have um a lamp and some lovely eco eco-friendly polishes but um rarely get to do it and nothing really stays on my nails for very long either so right i've cut that one but i didn't actually need that one I actually wanted it in white, so we best cut another and remind oneself to concentrate. Let's find a little scrap. I'll just run that through very quickly. Oops, taking that with me. Let's turn it the other way and hopefully it won't move. How cute is that little tag? I can just see me using this so much. Okay, let, I'm, what I'm gonna do is build this layer up first. Got another little bit of stamping to do on there. Build this layer up and then I've got another, I'm thinking of adding in the evening evergreen layer, but we're gonna see what it looks like once it's, once it's built up. So on that soft succulent, something stuck on there. On, with the soft succulent, I'm gonna use this little cutie, which is lovely to create backgrounds with. And we're literally going to just add, add this little sprig to our tag like that. Oh, it looks like it's starting to rain again. There was a little bit of blue sky, which shocked me after all of the um, rain that we had last night. It was pretty grim and the wind, I'm surprised there are not more larger branches down this morning because it was super windy. Right, let's start laying up. How am I doing this? I want this one here. Beautiful with this one. Do I need the whole of it? I'm not sure yet, but we can chop it off. So I'm gonna layer these two together. I know I've missed the end on that one, but I'm not anticipating using the whole length. I'm just gonna lay that one down nicely. It just fits inside. We will, we will surely enjoy ourselves, Margaret. Thank you so much. So can you see it just fits nicely in there? Good morning, Helen. How are you doing? You've just checked in for your flight. Oh, isn't it exciting? We will catch up with you as soon as we arrive. We'll, um, obviously we found where we're going. We will touch base with you and catch up with you, but safe, safe travels if I don't, I will speak to you later anyway, I'm sure, but I know it's just gonna be busy between now and then. I'm gonna snip off that end to start with because I don't think I want the whole length. 
And then I'm going to pop on my word celebrate. Are you all packed, Helen? Have you squeezed everything in? <laughs> you could be like Ellie though. Ellie's going to have like 10 layers of clothes and she'll be stripping off when she sits on that plane. I always find planes are either very hot or very cold. You never can tell how it's going to be on there. Right, I'm just going to lay my celebrate greeting, trying to get it centrally. Stuck to my finger. On top of there, so we've just layered that up. Then... I don't want to, mm, let's just have a look before I start laying this up too much. I'm thinking of popping that layer behind there just to break up the white. I think I'm going to do that and then it will just make it a bit different to the original card. I'm now wishing that I'd used this collection for my swaps but because I was like trying to be ahead of the game I actually cut all the pieces for my swaps at the beginning of October I still haven't finished them you know what it's like when you're just trying to do bits and bobs in between and just everything else has taken preference so right let's lay that one down on there you're all packed and ready, Helen. And you always wear your heaviest items on the plane. Yeah, I'm thinking my my chunky boots I'm going to have to wear. I'm up, not because of weight, because we've got plenty of weight, haven't we, with British Airways. But um, for, for me, it's more the room in the suitcase. Treated myself... I've been a bit spendy. Treated myself to a new suitcase. Treated myself to a new backpack. And some new clothes as well. I don't spend very often. Don't go shopping very often. But, yeah, had a little shopping trip to get some bits and pieces. Okay, let's start layering this up. I'm going to start off with this lovely foliage leafy piece. And yes, I'm using another layer of dimensionals. Do I care? Absolutely not. If it's going to cost me a bit more money to post this to someone, it will be worth it. I'm sure. How high do I want to go? I think I'll leave it there. The detail in these dies is just stunning. Right, my two flowers, we're just going to pop down with Tombow because I've given them a bit of life and although they will flatten in the post we're going to just let them have life for the time being and then we'll pop you next door maybe have you oh now we've got Tombow everywhere. Have you that way? I feel it needs to sit that way with that longer petal coming downwards. And then this layer, we're just going to slide in here like this. So a bit of Tombow on the back. Try and have it straight, somewhat straight. And then my little tags, I'm going to stick together. Put a couple of dimensions on the evergreen one. And then we're just going to stick them together. I want to line up the, the, the holes and just stick them together at at an angle, just so that one is showing beneath the other. 
You've got a new case as well, Helen. Yeah. I know. We have got um, a small cabin luggage. Um, small cabin luggage? A small cabin suitcase, but the zip puller is broken on it and it annoys me. So I'm just going to tie a little bow with my linen thread, keeping in the theme of the other card. And I feel I need to make some kind of box or something to go with this. Not today, because I am almost out of time. But I feel like I will continue with this colour theme. I might need to trim that a little bit. And then I'm just going to pop this tag. It's quite random, this tag. But, you know, anything goes when you're card making. When you're a creative, you can do whatever you like. You can have blue leaves or anything can't we? So we're just going to pop that down there and then add in. And I was thinking about um, using the champagne rhinestones. Just pop that down there. So I've just popped a little glue dot there at the top of that tag. Make my loops a bit rounder, and we're just going to pop. Which I know it sits over my greeting, but you can still see through. Yeah, I was thinking the champagne rhinestones might look nicely, but I wasn't sure. I didn't want to ruin the look of the flower. So, and there we go. I left it at that. Quite simple. And I was thinking like we could have embossed this layer underneath there are so many different ways you could adapt this um you could stamp on this layer we could have done some of this the little sprig on it we could have used a splat we could have actually cut out another center part of that oval in the petal pink and just embossed that layer so i feel like this design is open to whatever you want to do and can you see by adding in that evening evergreen layer how it just makes it pop a bit more i still love the whiteness the plainness of there um but just by adding in that extra layer and imagine the possibilities switching out the colors of these as well these are my favorites so you know i will always stick to my favorites and keep in my comfort zone but um kim we are sure to enjoy it it's going to be so much fun. I'm hoping there's going to be lots of beautiful things we can share with you on our return. So there we go. So two cards, one kind of design um, and just switched out a little, just swapped a few things around. So how lovely. I've got a stamped version of, of this one here. But how lovely would that be used on this oval in many different ways? And of course, don't think you can remember, don't think, remember you can chop into this one as well. So you could just use parts of this or just use the flowers. So I think it's such a fabulous collection and I love that it's come early. So it is part of... Um, the offering for the new mini catalogue coming in January. These are like sneak peek offerings. You can purchase them now. We need to remember, let's just grab in the little flyer, that the papers, the framed and festive stamp set and the embellishments, they are while supplies last and they will not carry over to the mini catalogue. The Framed florets and the dies will carry over. Hello, Cherie, my lovely. How are you doing? We will have a good time. We'll be sad that you won't be joining us this time. Um, yeah, so they'll be carrying over into the mini catalogue. So anyway, I am going to dash. Have I got anything else I wanted to show you? I can share with you my six card class for this month. The actual live event has passed, but... I'm not sure if it's still open on my website, but if you would like to purchase kits in the post, you can get those. So obviously you don't get stamped images and we've done a lot of heat embossing on these, but you get all of your layers cut to size. You get die cut pieces and you get embossed pieces. And we've got a couple of fun folds 
this time as well. So, so that's my six card class for November. I've got so much more to come. I just need more time to get it out there. So, and just one more little share because lots of you sent me congratulations. I received my little pin in the post to congratulate you on congratulate me on my sales milestone for 300,000. So, I've got loads of pins from Stampin' Up. I need to maybe get them out and take a photo of them all. So, yeah, that arrived. So, right, I will love you and leave you. I'm going to go and run Ralphie around the garden and then I'm going to head off to the swimming pool and sit with Teddy while Evzie has a lesson. I am good, Lucy, and thank you. I hope you are too. Right, I will say goodbye for now and I'll hopefully be back with you all very, very soon. Thanks for stopping by and take care. Bye for now.